farmers the length of Britain have been losing livestock to mysterious predators. A broken neck and a fleece surgically removed, the hallmark of a big cat kill. It's the right colour for Puma. The, the, the animal that John's seen on the occasions. Police detective Steve Ashcroft has been brought to the scene of the latest sighting of the Surrey Puma by wildlife ranger Peter Haynes. Well, John's seen this animal, something bigger than a fox. It's got a feline gait. It runs with an arch back, it's got a long tail. Steve Ashcroft has tracked the Surrey Puma for six years. Five deer have just been killed near here. This hair may be hard evidence that a puma was responsible. I'm wondering if it's been seen four or five times in the last month or so, that whether it has, in fact, got young to support. Because if it's just feeding itself, it could do that quite happily at night. It's timed it with the, you know, the birth of the roe deer and rabbits and, and other mammals. Steve's off-duty hours are spent collecting sightings from nearly every county in Britain. Reports come in thick and fast. 36 since the new year. His next investigation is in the West Midlands. A woman has been wounded by a big cat. There seems to have been an increase in the number of sightings, certainly from 1976, when the Dangerous Animal Act came into force. People were required to get licenses for the animals. Some owners seem to have deliberately let the animals go. But big cats not only escape from illegal owners, official figures show that 293 zoo animals escaped between 1970 and 1988. Many big cats were never recaptured. Steve's destination is the heart of England, south of Birmingham. In the last nine months, sightings of a black panther have centred on the churchyard in the village of Inkborough. Eight people have seen it. Steve questions eyewitness Jack Fawkes. I opened the gate, the dog shot out, and I stopped him. And then I turned me back to shut the gate. Walking through. Turned like that, and just there where that, a little bit of soil there, there was this black animal. And I decided it was a panther. Are you quite sure? I'm absolutely positive. What, what sort of dog have you got? Alsatian dog, a big Alsatian. The animal that you saw, was it bigger or about the same size? Same as size as the dog. You're quite sure it wasn't a black Labrador? Or... No, no, no way. When you saw, first saw it, what was it doing? Was it lying it down? It just sitting? stood. I, I come to the conclusion that it was curious about the dog. And they just stared one another out. Further evidence of the Black Panther. This picture was taken by an amateur photographer he was just 20 miles from Inkborough. And the first videotape of the animal came from the warden of a wildlife refuge. Steve's prime objective to interview the couple who were attacked by the panther, Nick and Sally Dyke. Can you go through, in your own words, uh, what you saw and what happened? Surely. I moved into this area and put my foot on something that, that moved. It was the cat. Uh, I assumed it was asleep. It seemed very shocked. It catapulted away from me and hit that stand of trees. It literally ran into them. It span round, and I don't believe it was trying to attack me. I think it was just trying to get away but it leapt in my direction, cannoned into my shoulder, and sent me spinning back out in this direction. Sally was on the track here, and the creature ran towards her, and then it performed some sort of really peculiar uh, aerial acrobatics. Its shoulders went one way, its hips went the other way, and it swatted at her with its right paw. Is this where it um, made the hole? Yes, it's where it... Hit my side, yes. It's gone right the way through. It says, actual fact, on the outside of your jacket, you can see two puncture marks here and here. Mm. And it seemed to be about five inches in length. It's gone, and it's gone straight through there. You can see mm. the slash there. Did it, did it penetrate your, your underclothing? 
Yes, it so worked. Actually, penetrated my rib cage. Yeah. Have you got? Is there marks on your skin there? Yes. Can I have a look? Yes, can you have a look? Oh, Christ, what nasty, isn't it? Mm. And those marks are about 12 weeks old now. Mm. Having seen the witnesses, I tend to think you've got so, so much overwhelming circumstantial evidence that, yes, there is black panther on the loose here. And there is further disturbing evidence that exotic big cats are widespread. The Beast of Ludlow, the proud possession of Dr. Carl Schuker, the country's leading expert on rare big cats. The jungle cat was run over in Shropshire in 1989. In Great Britain, all sorts of cats have been reported and specimens have been found. Black panthers, pumas, leopard cats, jungle cats like lynx, even golden cats. There are reports of large animals with cubs in some cases. There have even been footprints of large cats and small footprints next to them. Dr. Shuka thinks that some exotic cat species are here to stay. Frankly, I think we've got to the position where there isn't a great deal we can do. There are too many of them. They are extremely elusive. People say, well, you know, just shoot them, but that's easier said than done. Um, people have said, try trapping them. Again, very easy to, to say, very difficult to carry out. I'm afraid it's got to the situation where we, we literally have to accept they are here and there isn't a great deal we can do about it. But Detective Ashcroft wants the Black Panthers tracked down immediately. The cats living in the countryside at the moment appear in quite good health. They're living off rabbits, roe deer and occasional sheep. The worry comes, as time goes by, they're going to age. They probably won't be able to catch their natural prey. And that's when there could be a bit of a worry for, for people. The attack on the dikes is the exception rather than the rule. I think they got themselves in the unfortunate circumstances of cornering the animal while it was feeding. If you came across one, keep facing it. Don't turn your back on it. Don't shoot it. Go to your local police. If somebody's trying to take a pot shot of it, they could wound it, they could partially injure it, and then you've got a really dangerous animal on your hands. This weekend, Steve Ashcroft is to investigate the sighting of a family of big cats in Surrey.